This is John Cole with OKRod.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how I travel and eat healthy on the road with actually out visiting any kind of grocery stores or health food stores or eating out at restaurants. Um, I'll bring my food with me. So I'll pre-make my food and bring it in my suitcase to my destination. In this case, I'm actually in Chicago. And you know it's kind of a pain to take the subway or the train to get food and then come back to the hotel. So I basically brought all the food I'm going to need for the next four days with me. And uh, let me show you guys what I got. So I got a big bag, and inside this big bag, I got another bag. <laughs> so I'll open that up. I got a few clothes in here, and I think actually in this bag I got a few things. All right, yeah. So inside here I put some uh, some glass jar artichoke hearts. I love the artichoke hearts a lot. Um, they are heat processed, but they're very high antioxidant and good for your microbiome. Of course, I'll be eating lots of tangerine. These are uh, California grown um, farmer's market tangerine, super ripe, not acidic like the ones you get in the store. I'll be eating those. Oh, and of course, I gotta talk about this. This is some freeze dried food. Stuff's amazing. It's from Nate and Lissa, Raw Food Romance. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's basically freeze dried cauliflower that's flavored. Link down below to Lissa and Raw Food Romance to see her crazy recipes on her YouTube channel as well as her Instagram. They're very active on Instagram and they'll like post all the stuff they make in their freeze dryer, which is insane. So let's see, this is just some clothes. And then if you look in this bag here, this is the bag that's got all the food. Basically, I've dedicate one bag for food. And if you look inside here, I got <laughs> some organic apples. I got four organic apples. I got some of these beans. So I got some uh, low sodium kidney beans, organic. And then I got these other ones, uh, organic low sodium Bortelli beans. So I'll probably eat one of these a day. Give me some nice bean calories. Um, I believe beans are anti-aging based on the science, although some people say beans may pro-age you, some raw food vegans. I would not agree with them, that's, you know, not science-based. Of course, next here, we got a jackfruit. I mean, it's all wrapped up, you guys can see it. It's jackfruit and I brought a knife so I could cut it open. Eat that first. And then you can see I got these little bags that are sealed up. So like it, they sh these got shipped like probiotics, uh, you know, to me. Then I save the bags because they're like um, insulated bags. And look inside what I got here. So I basically froze my bottled water, and then I sandwiched it next to my green juice that I put in the same uh, bottle just to reuse it. So I got one green juice, and then I got these uh, little shots, these probiotic shots. This is a Kefir Lab. This, each one of these shots has 100 trillion probiotic. This is the coconut, like, uh, golden turmeric. So I'm going to have one of these a day, 100 trillion probiotics for my microbiome. And then if you guys see inside these packs, wow, they're nice and cold. I basically have um, my heat processed food. So I harvested, like, a bunch of bok choy because it was bolting from my garden. I cut up some butternut squash, cut up some jicama and cube some um, Jerusalem artichoke hearts and purple sweet potato and the greens and pressure cooked them for like three minutes. So I have like one of these to eat each day. And then in addition, I also brought a raw salad. This is my raw salad made from greens from my garden. This is still really cold, guys. And then on the bottom, I got actually, this is my next juice I'm gonna drink now. It's a cocktail grapefruit with sugar cane, ginger, and lime. And then on the bottom of this, we got some more of that water, which basically was just uh, frozen, because this is kind of like my ice packs. And that's one of these things. So then the next one, the next one, once again, more bottled water. I drink a special bottled water. We got more green juice. And we got more of my packs of the, uh, you know, the heat processed food. More green juice, more water. More water, <laughs> um, more of the heat processed food. Now you might be wondering, John, why are you eating so much heat processed food instead of the raw food? 
So here's the thing, you know, in the olden days, I would just bring like the salads with me, you know, like this. But yeah, I thought I'd bring one salad because I already had it pre-made. And honestly, guys, like I really want to get more greens in me. And you guys don't even know how much bok choy I had growing in my garden. And when I heat process, the bok choy kind of condenses down and tightens up. So now I can eat more greens, right? <laughs> and yeah, the other, the other thing is that the cooked stuff you know, won't go bad as quickly as the raw stuff will. So, that's what I'm up to. Another, uh, you know, heat process bag. And then of course I got another green juice, so I'm getting my greens. This is, happens to be like cucumber, uh, romaine hearts, celery, and cabbage, green cabbage. Got more of my water here. More of my water, which basically, I mean, I'll drink these waters, but also they were frozen solid, so they basically kept my food cold, and actually it's quite cold. And then that's this little package here. And we got one more package, let's see what we got in this little package and see how it lasted. So in this package, we got more green juice. <laughs> I'm gonna drink pretty much two of these a day. And then look at this. I bought a bunch of organic blueberries with me. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight packets of organic blueberries. I mean, if I had to buy organic blueberries here in Chicago, I don't even know, man, $3.99 each. <laughs> I got these for like 50 cents on sale in Las Vegas. So yeah, they basically this is all my food I'm gonna eat for the next four days. Um, it's gonna be fun. You know, I'm eating, you know, maybe like a bunch of tangerines and apple and some of the jackfruit, some blueberries every day, then I'm going to have a green juice, then I'm going to have my, you know, heat processed um, vegetables and or my raw salad and or some beans and some of that, um, those artichoke parts when I feel a need. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's how I do it. Empty package. Just travel with your food when you go, uh, use frozen water bottles that you can now drink and then also that keeps your food cold until you're able to get to the hotel and uh, shove it all in the fridge <laughs> and I always fits because the fridge is quite small. Alright so as you guys can see there's a little dinky fridge in here with the glass door which is kind of nice. Now it is at 45 degrees, I encourage you guys, especially if you guys have raw foods, keep it a little bit colder. So I'm going to try to hit the quick cool button see if I can get it to go down. Uh, when I walked in it was 42 degrees. Um, yeah, the colder your food is stored, the longer it will last. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I fit all my cold food in the little mini fridge. All right, so you guys can see we fit everything amazingly in this little fridge. It's pretty deep actually in the back. We got the blueberry stack, which is where it stays the coldest because the blueberries are the most perishable. Next to that, if you guys see right behind the apples, we've got those little uh, probiotic 100 trillion shots. Here we got all my heat processed food stacked up and my salad on top, probably the salad first, then the heat processed foods later. Got my green juices down there and there's the fruit juice back there. Got the jackfruit on the bottom and then the oranges on top and the apples on top of that. So yeah, this is basically all my food except for the few other things I got for the next Four days. All right, so that's pretty much it for this episode. I just want to let you guys know that when you guys travel, you guys can still eat healthy. You know, the standard model is, hey, when I'm traveling, I just go out to a restaurant and eat because it's easier. <laughs> well, yeah, it's maybe easier. You could spend more money on it, and then the food will not be as healthy, and you may be compromising your health or eating things that you would not otherwise because you have no food available. So when I travel, I try to like, want to maintain my same diet as when I'm home, which I'm pretty much able to do. I probably should have brought a few more raw salads because normally I like to have a raw salad every day and I wouldn't normally eat like this much heat processed food each day. But once again, I did that because it'll allow me to basically preserve the food longer, especially if it's at a little bit warmer temperature in there because it is already heat processed and so it's more sterilized, not going to go bad quickly and of course I vacuum packed all my food that I had. My juices were basically vacuum packed so I sucked the excess oxygen out of them so they preserve longer and then I put them into the plastic 
bottles with I, with I squeezed to get all the air out and then put the cap on. Um, you know, I didn't want to take any kind of glass jars or bottles because it adds excessive weight to my bags. My bag was already overweight by three pounds. It was 53 pounds was my one major bag of the food. And yeah, that's how crazy I am. I'll do this so that I can eat healthy. And you know, you guys have a choice. You guys want to pack your food to go, keep it cold on the road. And then when you get to the hotel, put it in the hotel fridge. And then, you, you, then I'm, I'm now not going to be inconvenienced to happen to go out to get food, to have to go to a restaurant, compromise my diet, and have to spend more money you know, than I would when I'm home. I mean, I get some of the healthiest stuff from farmer's markets. All the greens in the heat process and the raw meal are actually from my garden that I grew myself. So I'm able to you know, maintain and still eat super healthy on the road. So I hope this video motivates you just a tiny little bit to eat healthy on the road, make things in advance, you know, break, use frozen water bottles. I have a portable cooler that if I'm doing a road trip, link down below to that video, you can see how I bring food on a road trip. Then if I'm on a road trip, I'll put them in glass jars with a vacuum on them instead of the plastic bags, but I was on the airplane and I want to keep the weight down, especially the weight going back because I'm going to probably be bringing a whole bunch of samples home from the trade show. In any case, if you guys enjoyed this episode, like these little hints and tips that I'll give you guys that no other person eating a raw vegan diet does. Hey, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, more importantly, please be sure to share this with others so that they can see how they could eat on the road by just literally packing a bag full of food and keeping it cold to get to the hotel and then putting it in the little hotel fridge. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on new and upcoming episodes of coming out every five to seven days. You can know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. And make sure you click the little bell so you get notified as many videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. The past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. I have many videos on raw food and traveling so I've been doing it for 28 years now. <laughs> Links down below to some of my previous episodes on traveling raw that may help you so that you can stay raw on the road or by air or wherever you go. So with that, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best.